let folks know that Sacre Valley Health Center has had a mental health provider on site since 1978. Health Center's only been around since 19. It was really important to have men mental health services available to patients in, in our population. And back in 2005, we moved forward um, after hearing Kirk Strozal, Marty heard Kirk, Kirk Strozal talk about actually integrating behavioral health, which, which we sort of think of behavioral separate from mental, you know, we have both, um, and we started moving down that road in 2005, and then we were really fortunate in 2008 to get some MEHAC funding. We were one of the first sort of groups um, to get that, which allowed us to do a couple of things. Number one, we added on a care manager, and we also started a patient and family advisory council. So a lot of what we'll sort of highlight today has to circle around the patient and family advisory council. So. So if you look at your handout <laughs> that you all have, um, so you can see after the site self-assessment with our Portland, we identified several things that we were going to work on. We had to pick three, so pain management was one, um, establishing a patient and family advisory council, and Portland was in the midst of actually putting together their patient center medical home application. So that was another thing. We thought we could leverage some of this work into that also. And at NASON, Again, Patient and Family Advisory Council wanted some help with that. Um, sharing of protocols, particularly 